you're going to need. Them. We've got used to having high pressure close by, but that's virtually gone now. In its place, we're going to have low pressure, or rather two areas of low pressure. They'll pass by to the northwest of the British Isles, which means to say it is going to be the north and west that gets most of the heavy rain and the strong winds. But there will, I think, be rain across eventually the whole country and some strong winds too the winds are going to be picking up actually during the course of tonight and through tomorrow and there will be gales around some of these western coasts from time to time as we head in towards the weekend one band of cloud and rain has been working its way up across the country during the course of the day we've had a few spots in london just recently the heaviest bursts of rain though have been across ireland and wales and that particular band of rain will continue to work its way northwards during the rest of the day through tonight eventually grinding to a halt across the north of scotland and yes later on tonight and through tomorrow more rain following from the southwest i think this is going to be heavier and more widespread than the current band that we have with us so the current area of rain moving northwards eventually getting getting into Northern Ireland, northern parts of England and Wales, allowing somewhat brighter weather to follow into southern parts, perhaps with the odd shower, staying bright too in western Scotland, but along this east coast, grey and murky and pretty cold too. The wind's still coming in off the North Sea, so about 10 degrees at best. But in some of the other spots, a little bit of brightness, should see the temperatures up to 16 degrees, perhaps as high as 18 degrees, for instance, in the Channel Islands. And then after dark this evening and tonight, that rain, lightish, fairly patchy rain, moving up to northern Scotland, some heavier rain following to southern Ireland, Wales and the southwest by the end of the night. Most places are going to have a fairly mild night. Might just about manage a touch of ground frost, though, in some of those sheltered glens. And then tomorrow, not staying dry all that long, in, as far as England and Wales is concerned, the rain packing in during the course of the morning. And it'll be turning wet and fairly windy across most parts of the country before the day's out. The northern part of Scotland probably missing the rain, northeastern areas staying grey and murky, and some brighter weather, but again with some showers following into the southwest. Temperatures about the same as today's, which means to say again that east coast staying quite cold with the wind off the sea. And then over the weekend, unsettled really is the only word for it. We're going to have a lot of showers around on Saturday. Some of those showers could be quite heavy. If anything, even more showers around on Sunday could be some longer spells of rain. And if that wasn't enough, a pretty wet 